this area has been done, that area has not. And you can tell there's, it looks pretty good. The lines are straight, it's nice and clean. Let's see what happens if I just park myself right here. Is he gonna go around me? Oh, he stopped. He knew to stop. And he just turns around. In this video, I'm gonna share with you six reasons why I finally got off the fence, got this Navimo i-series by Segway, and I'll share one reason at the end why I feel like some people may consider waiting before buying the Navimo. You see, for the last three years, I've always found reasons to not get an electric lawnmower that's robotic like this. Reason number one is I've always had kids that were willing to mow my lawn, especially my two older boys. It was a good way for them to make some money and help out around the house. House. But as my boys got older, they eventually left the nest, moved on to college, and then my daughters, they were less enthusiastic about mowing the lawn. And so it was often left to me to mow the lawn. And that meant allergies, long days, trying to figure out why that broken lawnmower wasn't turning on. And it was just frustrating having to go to the gas station to get fuels. That was one big reason why I decided, or maybe a robot lawnmower is a thing for me. Because while mowing the lawn can be therapeutic at times, other times it just ends up feeling like a chore. Now, one of the drawbacks to these robot lawnmowers right now is they can't get over steps, curbs, and through rough terrain. And when you have different lawns that are separated by such a curb, by rocks, or even by gates, you actually have to pick it up and physically move it. So let's go ahead and do that. The nice thing though, it's really lightweight. It's not heavy at all. Hey, what's up, buddy? And so now that I've put it down, I can start it and have it mow my front yard. No problems, it'll do it all by itself. I don't have to watch it. I do have to take it back to its charger though when it's running low on batteries because it doesn't know how to open gates. Next reason why I think the robot is ready for prime time is the technology is finally there. Before you had to lay wires, you had to fiddle around with a complex app that didn't work very well. And reviews on the prior series, the H series that for example, Ben Schmanke made, very negative. Did not put it in a good light. And here is one of the problems, getting stuck. Let's see if he's able to get out of this hole that he's in. And so he just basically went around this hole that is here. So like I said, the technology has vastly improved. It's been about two days since I last mowed the lawn. And since then it's rained and you can see how the rain has really caused the lawn to green up and to grow. And so the nice thing about this is it's quiet. And because it's so quiet, I don't have to worry about running this at night and disturbing my neighbors. Look at the mow pattern that it has, as opposed to before the pattern was going this way. And so the pattern changes each time, which helps so you don't have to worry about it kind of causing ruts in the lawn by mowing in the same direction every single time. Pretty smart feature. The unboxing and setup was a breeze. Setting up the base was easy. And then programming and mapping out my yard using the app, very, very simple. And so the whole experience was actually very, very pleasant. The mower itself, it has a cutting height range of two inches to three and a half inches. That caters to the different types of grass lengths to ensure optimal lawn health. The device itself, it's equipped with a ton of sensors, including an IMU sensor, lift sensor, HD camera, bump sensors, the Segway Navimo IC, series, it can navigate around a lot of things that it may come across with precision. On top of that, it has an IP66 rating, which makes cleanup a breeze. And so whenever it gets dirty, I just spray it with a hose, wash it down, and she's good to go. So I've been having the Navi mow, mow my lawn every day for the last week. I want to figure this out, learn the ins and the outs of this device. So my lawn is actually looking really good. I've been very impressed. My neighbor's lawn, however, they've yet to mow this season. So I'm going to show you how to map out a new territory and have this mow autonomously. Honestly, what we're going to do is we're going to add my neighbor's line. Oh, and there's my neighbor right there. I asked her if I could mow. She said, absolutely mow as much as you would like. We go into map management and now let's go to the starting point. Okay, so I told it to come to the starting point, which is right here. And now that we're at the starting point, we are going to map out this little section of yard. You can see my yard, which the Navimo has been mowing. And then this over here, the grass is a little bit longer. 
and we are going to put it to task on my neighbor's yard. And so to map it out, it's really easy. You get to the starting point. I confirm the starting point. Now I just take control like I would on a video game. The controls are very simple, very easy to use. If you've ever played a video game, you shouldn't have a problem with this. If you make a mistake, you just hit that eraser sign. It'll erase your progress, take you back, and then you can just start over. So I have finished mapping this new area. I've even added a new no mow zone around this tree. Let's put it to work now. And so the Navimo is just about finishing up the yard. I must say it looks a lot better. The Navimo did a great job. I do feel that some of the small sticks and some of the leaves get in the way of the blades on the bottom. It's kind of the design of this device so that it doesn't cause any major damage if it were to go over something it's not supposed to go over. So I don't know if you saw that, but it went around the poop, which was pretty impressive. I don't know if that's because this poop is really big because I I have seen it go over Milo's poop, which is actually a lot smaller. So I think it's probably because that poop is a lot bigger than the poop that we get in our backyard from our dog, but pretty impressive nonetheless. Two handles here, you can pick it up like so. While we have it upside down, let's look at this. So basically there's this rotating disc and there are three blades on here. We'll wash this off so it's clean and then we'll take a look underneath. The next reason why the Navimo is ready for prime time is because of the cost. The price of this guy is actually pretty darn affordable. Prices are just astronomical to do yard work. I was paying $40 each time to mow my yard. Now they're asking for about $90 each time. Once a week, four weeks a month, over a seven month grow period, which is what we have here in Colorado. And you're paying this much just to mow your lawn each year. As costs rise, as inflation goes up, minimum wage goes up, we're gonna be looking towards robotic solutions just like the fast food restaurants are. I do wanna make sure it's clear that the robot can only do so much. So the Navimo helps with the mowing. It's not going to be able to help with the trimming. So it's early in the season right now. That's why the grass isn't totally green. But this trimming here, the edges, the weeds, that's all going to require still some manual effort. This is probably the biggest flaw or the biggest weakness of these robot lawnmowers. And it's no fault to the Navimo because robots just don't know how to open doors yet. At least this robot can't. Because he's going to try to get to his charging station, but there's a gate in the way. He's gonna try different ways to get into the backyard it's not going to work i wish there was a way for it to know to just come sit and be in timeout power itself down and alert me on my phone saying hey i'm done with the job can you take me to my charging station or i could do what someone on reddit did pretty ingenious he built a little garage door so pretty cool i'm not going to be that person though i don't have the time energy or even the know-how to do that i just wish that there was a way for it to come to this location and just wait for me. And the next reason why I think this guy is ready for prime time is because adoption is actually becoming more and more widespread. Before it was really rare to see a robot lawnmower mowing lawns. Now because the tech is better and they're more affordable such as this Navimo, you're gonna see these more and more. And actually I was surprised in my research to find out that places like Norway, it seems to be more common that you see robot lawnmowers than you do see push lawnmowers. Pretty impressive. That just goes to show you this is going to be the way of the future. While he's coming back to charge, let me tell you about the two things that we have going on here. So this is the antenna and the charging base. It comes with the Navimo. This garage, however, that opens and closes, this does not come with the Navimo. I wanted this because the sun here in Colorado, it's really strong and we get rain, we get snow. And while the Navimo is water resistant, I wanted to make sure it's protected from the elements as it's sitting out here. So if you have concerns about your Navimo getting stolen, there is a way for you to track it, but it does require an additional accessory. It's this called the Navimo Access Plus. You can find it on their website. It's a little box and it gives you cellular access access so that you can track your Navimo right in the front. This is where it's going to go. I highly recommend this if you are planning on using this in your front yard and you live in an unsafe area. And then we just screw this back. And now if this is ever stolen, the Navimo will be able to track it down. 
We live in a pretty safe area. I don't feel like I need to worry about this too much, but it'll be a little added peace of mind. And my last reason why I think this is ready for prime time is it just does a better job. And why it does a better job isn't necessarily because it's better than the professionals, it's because it mows more frequently than the professionals. When I hire someone to mow my lawn, they come once a week. So the lawn looks good for the first few days after it being mowed. And then after that, it starts getting long and shaggy. With this, I can program it to mow every other day or every day if I wanted, which is actually what I have been doing. I've been having the Navi mow, mow every day for the last two weeks because I want to see how this would perform and it is shine. And because it's mowing every day, you almost get this golf course type appearance. Freshly mowed grass every day and requiring very little work. There are times where I would wake up and I would see the Navi mow going. Doesn't need to take breaks except to charge. Doesn't need to take a vacation. Okay, let me show you what mowing this every day for two weeks does to the blades. As you can see here, blades are all kind of gunked up. These are some of the blades that it came with. And so this is a replaceable item. Maybe this is why it's not cutting as efficiently as it was when I first opened it. They say to replace these blades about every month or so. And so those are my six reasons why I think it is time to go robot when mowing your lawn. And the Navi Mow i-Series is the combination of price and tech that makes this a really compelling option. But I did say there's one reason why you would consider holding off on getting a robot lawn mower, and that reason is this. If you have middle school, young high high school age kids who are willing to work, who want to get their hands dirty so they can earn some money, then I say hold off on getting the robot lawnmower. Pay those kids, either your kids or your neighbors, because I find that that's a rare characteristic in society today, kids that want to work. And if they do want to work, then hire them. And once they grow out of that phase, then the tech of these guys will be better. Hopefully the price will even be better. And then you guys can join the robot revolution.